Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic out there. So in today's reading, I'm gonna take a look at your romantic love life for the week of June, 2023. I'm gonna pull a seven card spread, see what's going on in your life for the next seven days romantically. I'll find out who you're dealing with this week, find out how they currently feel about you, and I'll take a look at their behavior towards you this week, along with looking at your blind spot, which could be things that are negatively impacting your connection with this person that you may not be aware of just yet whether you're doing something subconsciously or your person is doing something or externally something is pulling you guys apart from each other if that's the case I will find out in today's reading followed by your advice I get pretty nosy around here so yeah let's do this spirit what do we have for Capricorn today for the week of June 2023 who's Capricorn connecting to and can Capricorn trust this person's intentions with them Capricorn is open-minded to the messages you have in store for them today as long as the messages that come through are for Capricorn's highest and greatest good two more shuffles please one and two let's rock this and deck for my awesome cappies all right Capricorn what's your person's feelings for you this week Ooh, we have the lovers major kind of for Gemini so this person is definitely feeling something towards you they're feeling pulled towards you they're feeling romance they're feeling the attraction but looking at this art depiction I see a little too many hands there so I don't know if this person is feeling like you guys are in an open relationship where you both are free to date other people or there's a love triangle going on here but if that's not the case this person is feeling um, romantic feelings for you okay there is something going on here some of you guys could have met each other in gemini season or something very important is happening during gemini season okay which we're in for two more days it looks like before cancer season starts so what's their intentions with you this week the devil major arcana for capricorn now the devil speaks of obsession the devil speaks of temptation the devil speaks of third-party interference it speaks of wanting what you can't have or wanting too much of a good thing someone feels really stuck to you really tied and bound to this relationship feels very drawn to another person there's a lot of intensity coming off of these two cards and i got this same energy off of cancer's reading um, and also scorpio's reading very intense energy so you could be dealing with any of those two or have that in your chart but these are two major arcanas which signifies strong energy coming towards you over the next seven days all right i feel like as we enter cancer season something monumental is taking place whether it's for the good of the relationship or where you part ways there's something going on here we can't stay in that level of intensity for too long what's this person's behavior towards capricorn the seven of pentacles so this person does want to invest in a future with you but there's something going on here where they feel like something needs a little bit more time because if you look at this card you see how your person is you know checking their cupcakes and they've got that toothpick going in to check the internal temperature to see if it's it's finished baking well there's a little bit of raw cupcake batter still on the toothpick which is indicating to this person that something is not ready um, something needs a little bit more time and they are putting it back into the oven to cook a little bit longer so I don't know if this is telling me that this person is not ready to reveal the intense emotions that they feel for you or they're not ready to make a choice to be with you or to make a choice between you and another person okay I will know when I clarify this to see if it is a third-party interference and third-party interference doesn't always have to be you know that there's another person involved on a romantic sense it could be family it could be friends it could be work it could be distance it could be anything all right what's your feelings for this person the death card scorpionic energy you feel like something is changing between the two of you you feel like something has come to an end for something new to begin because if you look at this card it's the energy of taking what is not needed in a relationship or no longer needed on one's path and putting it into that urn making peace with it and laying it to rest so you're acknowledging that something going on with you and your person needs to come to an end needs to be laid to rest before you can have the relationship or um, happiness that you deserve all right it's Pluto energy Pluto is all about endings for new beginnings and now I get three major arcanas out of four cards that's a that's a lot of strong energy here something is changing something is changing within your love life Capricorn 
Okay, let's see. What's in your blind spot? The Knight of Pentacles. Now, with the Knight of Pentacles being what could be negatively Im impacting your connection with somebody, this tells me that someone's moving too slow. Someone's not, you know, getting the ball rolling. Someone is being too patient with something, you know, to the point where those cupcakes are going to get burned, right? Because nobody's going to be there to eat them after, you know, someone waited too long. So I don't know if you're telling me that you're getting sick of waiting for this person to make a choice between you and another or make a choice to be with you, you know, the way that you deserve or make a choice to come forward with a love offer. Your patience is starting to run thin is what it feels like to me. You want to see some big changes with that death card. What's the potential outcome for the next seven days between Capricorn and this person? The page of wands. So there is going to be something that's changing that's going to make you feel more optimistic, more excited, more, you know, happy because the page of wands is exciting news. It's feeling lay on your feet and feeling like something is going in your favor. Fire energy. What's your advice? Six of Pentacles. Your advice is to give to others that give to you. If you feel like you're dealing with a one-sided situation, remove yourself from the equation. Nobody's got time for that in the year 2023. We're not giving our love, attention, and money away f for nothing these days, all right? We all need reciprocal relationships, all right? So if you feel like this connection is reciprocal and this person's giving back to you the way that you give to them, great, give more to it. But if you don't feel like it's giving to you in the same way that you deserve, move on end things and move on. There's more fish in the sea. What's the overall energy? The three of wands. Some of you guys could live at a distance from each other and that's what the whole holdup is. And for others, someone's waiting on the right moments. I keep on getting the energy of it's not the right time. It's not the right time. It needs more time. All right, that's what I'm getting. And I'm looking at this picture and it shows me a calendar and it shows me the end of a month there being a circle, like X marks a spot. So I don't know if this is telling me intuitively that something is gonna happen at the end of this month. Today is June 20th, so we are at the last week, of, the last 10, 10 or 11 days of June. So that's the end of the month, okay? Someone's waiting on the right moment to reveal something, to be open about something, to make a plan um, come forward, okay? And the number three is all about creating something. And six breaks down to two threes. Six of Pentacles breaks down to two threes. So I'm seeing a lot of repeated threes, okay? So I'm gonna start clarifying and see what's going on. Regardless, you've got a, a happy outcome for your week ahead. You've got some sort of good news coming towards you. All right, so let's dig in. In your person's feelings for you this week, Capricorn, we have the lovers. Why the lovers for how this person feels about Capricorn, please? For some, this could be a secret love affair where it's your own special secret that nobody else knows about but, but your person and you, and you wanna keep it that way for a little bit. Why the lovers? The Ace of Cups. So we are confirming that this person feels something special about you and they would like to have a new beginning. They are feeling their heart chakra fully activated by you and the lover's card is the energy of needing to make a choice. Back in the day when tarot was first created, I think almost 500 years ago or maybe more, the lover's card was actually called the choice. You know, making a choice from the heart and following your heart. And then we have the empress on the bottom, Taurus Libra energy. So to further clarify their feelings for you, they are feeling like you are very loving, very beautiful, regardless of your gender. This person feels like you are very well-rounded. All right, you can't get any better than the Empress with how someone feels about you. It just doesn't get better than that. All right, and it's another number three. And then I got the six of wands, which breaks down to two threes. So a lot of sixes and a lot of threes. So this is Leo energy. This person's feeling inspired to nurture this, to give you attention, but I need to know what the heck is going on with that devil energy, because I'm not a fan of the devil. You know, sometimes the devil is necessary at times, but I'm not a big fan of it. Let's clarify. Why the devil and this person's intentions with Capricorn? That's, that's being attached to 3D stuff, money, you know, lust. What's this devil? The moon, all oh, my Lanta. Oh man, I'm gonna have to continue clarifying this. So your person is not wanting to reveal what they've got going on. 
The moon clarifying the devil is the energy of uh uh. I ain't telling you what this devil energy is, but I'm going to get more information. The, the moon clarifying this as intentions tells me someone intends to keep something private, someone intends to keep something um, discreet. For some of you Capricorns, this is a secret romance between you and this person where you know that nobody else knows about you and this connection. Maybe a, a select few may know, um, but it's not out in the public, it's not out in open. Okay, like you guys have no choice but to keep this love affair a secret because of whatever factors. Maybe you feel like something needs to come to an end before you guys can have this connection, whether on your end or their end. Um, five of Wands. Give me another card on that. What is this devil with the moon? What is this devil with the moon, please? What is this devil with the moon? What is this devil with the moon? I definitely feel a secret love affair between the two of you. You both are like being very selective on, on who you guys share this relationship with. Why the moon to the devil? Eight of Swords. Someone feels limited, someone feels trapped, someone feels so stuck. So it's the energy of needing to stay private until someone figures out how to release this um, blocked energy. Like it almost feels like your person saying through this reading, Badison, how am I gonna give to Capricorn when I feel really entangled here? I don't know how to give to this person, but I want to with the lovers to the Ace of Cups, but I don't know how to with the moon to the devil and it's stressing me out and it's getting me obsessive. So maybe you guys live far away due to distance as the three of wands can be my long distance relationship card. And for others, maybe someone's still in, in another situation. This is a judgment-free zone. We're all here to learn our own lessons and to grow as souls. So there is no judgment here. If there is a third party that you are well aware of, Capricorn, okay? But it is telling me that this person's feeling really stuck. They've gotten themselves into a mental pickle. Um, they feel like they are really limited and restricted. So they're obsessing about this, they're anxious about this, and they're keeping their fears private. They don't want you to know that they're feeling this worked up for whatever reason. Wow, this reading just got intense. Page of Cups, Six of Cups. Somebody's wanting a new start, but someone's past may be an anchor to their happiness right now. Whether it's childhood trauma that's holding this person back, or an ex, siblings, family members, friends, somebody's past Six of Cups is anchoring down this new beginning where it can't like feel free to move forward is what it feels like to me. Let me clarify your feelings. Maybe you're gonna give me some more insight. So in your feelings is the death card. Why is Capricorn's feelings for this person the death card? Why is Capricorn's feelings for this person the death card, please? Really, the High Priestess, you guys are just not giving me anything, are you? Ace of Wands, you definitely want something exciting to take place. Capricorn, what are you guys doing here? You're giving me the High Priestess, this person's giving me the moon, you both are pretty much saying, Madison, mind your own business. <laughs> but you wouldn't be watching this video if you wanted me to mind my own business. So I'm gonna keep going. But you are telling me that you're excited about something with this person. This person excites you, they, they just, light you up you just you're ready for something you're ready but it's like you intuitively know that something needs to stay a secret you're keeping your secret they're keeping their secret you both are acknowledging that you both wanting to keep this relationship private you don't want everyone to know about it so it feels like the birth of a new connection where you both don't want other people to get involved and start putting in their own two cents of how the relationship should unfold. Maybe there's something about this person that your family might not agree with or vice versa, or there's something else. So in the blind spot is the Knight of Pentacles. Why the Knight of Pentacles for what's in the blind spot for this connection? It's like someone's got an offer, but the journey is taking much longer than anticipated. Why the Knight of Pentacles? The lovers. A choice is needing to be made. A choice to be together, a choice to be out in public with your relationship, a choice to end something, to begin something new. It's gonna be different for many Capricorns. Page of Pentacles. And someone may be scared that they're missing out on an opportunity with the Four of Cups showing up. Cancer energy. 
Like someone's bummed out that something is happening the way that it's happening. And Capricorn, Cancer is your sister sign. So some of you guys may be North Node Cancers or you have it in your moon placement. Um, so in this person's behavior towards this relationship in you is the Seven of Pentacles. They feel like they have to wait. And I see that with the Three of Wands. They feel like they have to wait to reveal something. Why the Seven of Pentacles? Why the Seven of Pentacles? Why the Seven of Pentacles? Six of Swords. Now the Six of Swords is traveling. It's the energy of moving on from a difficult time. It's moving on from conflict, moving on from naysayers, moving on from haters. It, this person feels like they have to take care of a lot of clearing out of their life in order to start a new life with you. And it's, it's looking like something is not easy for somebody. Okay, like they have to deal with a lot of backlash. Or you do. It's like someone has to defend why they're choosing this relationship, five of wands. I don't know if you guys are from different backgrounds, um, different sides of the street, or you guys just have a lot of people that are trying to interfere with your relationship, whether because of, you know, religion or, you know, someone still needing to close out a, a chapter with something from their past. And you, you know, there's gonna be some hurt feelings maybe. Why is the Page of Wands the potential outcome for this week ahead? There's definitely a message. Why the Page of Wands for the weekly outcome for Capricorn this week? Why the Page of Wands? Nine of Swords, someone's stressing about this message. Whoever is on the receiving end of this message is gonna be happy, but whoever is sending this message is stressing out about this message. Interesting, the devil, Capricorn energy. And they're the ones with the intentions being the devil. It's like this person has been holding on to this, this little secret or this little minor detail or major detail for some time now and is stressing about revealing it to you. But you're happy about it. Whatever it is, you're happy about it. So I don't know why this person is so stressed out about telling you something. And then I see the Queen of Swords where it looks like someone's stalking from a tree. Whether they're watching you, you're watching them, or someone external is watching you both. Wow, this is a very different reading from what I'm usually doing. But I get a lot of different messages. Reading for many people. Give me more on this outcome. Magician, whatever someone wants, wants them too. Someone here is manifesting all this that take place. And since this is your reading, Capricorn, you're manifesting it. You're, you're wanting this person, you're wanting to um, push through whatever this is to, to be with this person because you love them. Knight of Cups, Nine of Cups, the Two of Cups. You're in this energy thinking, this person's worth it to me. We will deal with whatever drama comes to us as long as this person gives to me the way that I deserve. Because in your advice is the Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. As long as this person's giving to you in a way that you can build something stable, give to it. But if not, move on and find someone who will build with you. And it looks like a little, little bird tree, little love's nest. Why is the Three of Wands the overall energy? Why is the Three of Wands the little overall energy? The Emperor. This masculine energy is needing to take charge. And again, there's, there's no gender in my ratings. Women come up as masculine energies all the time. So it's whomever feels like they have to make some necessary changes for this to work out, they're the ones that are taking the lead here. Aries energy, okay? Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune comes in when monumental changes are up ahead, where fated events are taking place, where someone is being pushed onto their path and they can't you know, avoid it. You know, if someone's meant to do something, the higher self is going to orchestrate it. Now, I don't know what is going on here. It's going to be different for many of you Capricorns. All I know is there is a private relationship, like a secret affair, a secret romance that you both are acknowledging and you both are consensual on. Um, and something is getting ready to come out in the open for you guys to solidify your relationship. And there might be a person saying something about it. Okay, and someone's like accepting it. Now, if that's not the case, please disregard. Now, if you're in any recent no contact with anybody, I will find out how they feel about you. But for zodiac signs that came through this reading, I've got
Pisces, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I already said Pisces. Capricorn is here and Virgo, Gemini. It could be any zodiac sign. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl Capricorn. And if you would like to book a private reading, the link to my website is in the description box below this video. If this reading did not resonate, there's two other love readings in my June playlist that you can watch or the most recent All Signs reading and just click on the Capricorn timestamp. Okay. I couldn't handle your words when you were upset with me. It was too painful. For some of you, you're not talking to this person right now because you guys had an argument, okay? It's always been you. I don't know how to tell you the truth. I want a new beginning. Is it focusing? Come on. You were the love of my life. I didn't figure that out before. I now know it's true. I feel like I abandoned you and myself when we broke up. I want to reconcile. All right, Capricorn, that was for you. I'll check back in with you next week. Until then, I love ya. Please rock that like and subscribe button. All right, later, Gators.